Today we're looking at the electrical system of the Beach 1900D, including DC power, AC inverters, and the power distribution schematic. The electrical system is a negatively grounded 28 volts direct current system. DC power is provided by one 23 ampere hour air cooled battery. It consists of two generator buses, two center buses, a battery bus and a triple fed bus. The hot battery bus is always under battery power. It is provided for operation of equipment such as cockpit emergency lighting, cabin entry and threshold lighting, and the fire extinguishing system. When either of the two generators is brought online, two contactors controlled by the bus tie control unit tie the two systems together. The buses are powered by their respective sources, the battery and the left and right generators. In normal operation, the buses are tied into a single loop. High current sensing devices control the free bus tie relays. The battery bus tie relay and the left and right bus tie relays. High current sensing devices control the relays, actuating when a current of 325 amperes or greater is supplied from a single source. The sensor affected then isolates the bus requiring the high current allowing the remaining power sources to continue operating as a system. The buses can be monitored with a voltmeter located on the overhead panel. Two 115 slash 26 volts AC 400 Hz inverters controlled by the AC bus left and AC bus right switches power the avionics equipment. An APU is considered essential if avionic equipment is operated on the ground due to the requirement of over 50 amperes of current from the battery, which would deplete the battery in a short period of time. For ground operation, the external power switch must be in the on position. The battery master switch should also be on, as the battery tends to absorb voltage transients when operating avionics equipment and during engine starts. Illumination of the left or right AC bus enunciators indicates inadequate inverter power. 